Here we go. Welcome to the Virtual Hockey Talk. Boxing Day Edition. Hope you got everything you wanted for Christmas. And then some. It is Boxing Day. Ooh, look out. Not big. Not big on boxing. I um, hope you're doing well. Hope you, oh, you're looking great. Look like you didn't eat too much at all, so don't, we're even, don't even think about that. Me, on the other hand, well, let's not even, let's not even talk about that. <laughs>
oh no, somebody's got a dirty pot. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting personal now. But I did hear a little bit of a, a crackle <clears throat> there. I hope I'm not sharing it with you. Um, lots of stuff going on. I will sort of uh, fill you in as we go. Uh, Christmas was awfully quiet. You're going to hear some barking because, uh, well, Mr. Freddy's not too happy about being in his crate right now. He'd rather be out here barking. But um, he understands. He'll, he'll, he'll get the big picture one of these days. In the meantime, somebody who's not getting the big picture well, it goes like this. Pardon me, Joe. I need a favor. No big deal. No heavy labor. Anything really. Your name on a line. Do this for me. We'll get along fine. Pardon me, Joe. I need you to pardon me, Joe. Pardon me, Joe. I'm hearing stories. They say I lost, but I'm in my glory. See your way clear. Help a guy out. Just go easy. That's all I'm talking about. Pardon me, Joe. Need you to pardon me, Joe. Everybody loves me. At least everybody did. Hey, where'd they all go? I'm hearing sirens. The walls are closing in. One thing I still need to know. Pardon me, Joe. I must be going. My ride is here, and that crowd is growing. You want ratings? I'm the best in the biz. Need me to help? It is what it is. Pardon me, Joe. I need you to pardon me, Joe. Oh, yeah. I need you to pardon me, Joe. Oh, yeah. I need you to pardon me, Joe. <laughs> well, let's move on, shall we? Oh, wait a minute. There, perfect. Perfect Sigu, just like that. Funny how things just kind of work out, almost. Into the habit of thinking about things that I just can't change.
got to carry on bar I would have used it okay oh you know what I found this little tidbit oh yeah I was gonna say um, as we go on today I found some oddball things in my collection of tapes and whatnot as I was sorting them and uh, today I'm gonna unveil some of the old 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 demos I've done some of them some of the earliest demos I ever did this I'm still red with embarrassment However, um, this is go This doesn't go back way, way far, but um, it does go back a ways. 1997, and this is just a playing around in the studio. Another demo that I found, and this has got to go back to 1987. And it's uh, the very first demo, and it's of Dance For Me. And I don't even think I've played this all the way through in many, many years. So let's see what it sounds like. And this is um, at Cyril's house on his Porta studio. We just put it together, and yeah, that's all it was. He had put together this, he had a record, <laughs> it's how long ago it was, a record of drum, drum tracks, and anyway, this is it. It's a little different, see what you think. Three, four. <laughs> You're still holding me, but not the way you used to do. Love slipped through our fingers like ships that drift apart. You packed a bag and left, and in it was my heart. I didn't have to worry back when you were mine. The more I tried to hold you, the less I was on your mind. I was a puppet who'd only dance for you. You could pull the strings when you wanted to. Go ahead and try to find another love like mine. You find I'm on your mind like a favorite man be come on back come back and dance for me I wanted you to stay 
stay Your eyes were saying no I'll never cut the strings But I just have to let you go You've got my heart Beating out of time And all my love for you Hanging on the line Go ahead and try to find another love like mine See if there's another who'll dance for you If you find I'm on your mind like a favorite melody Come on back and dance And then we took that and, uh, well, did the other version of it based on that. Okay. And here's another one. And, uh, this is going way back to early 80s, very early 80s. And it's probably going to be out of tune just like the last one was, but uh, we'll see what this is like. I know what...
there's no lyrics for that one, so I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, these are all, isn't that funny thing? Everything I'm playing now is all my own stuff. I, I, get, I was just getting tired of all the copyright complaints, you know? You just do your own backup piece, all your own playing and everything else, and you just, jeez, you know? Anyway. That's all covered on other people's channels. Well, I don't have to add to that, but that's why. So that's why we're doing all my own stuff. Oh boy. Now you get, now you kick the bear. Uh oh. You wouldn't like me when I'm grumpy. <laughs> For an instrumental, I think. Let's see how this gal goes. Uh -huh. hmm. Let's see.
Well, that's a mix I don't recall doing. <laughs> yeah, I do not. Okay. Now, back to the normal-ish stuff. Are you ready? Am I ready? There somewhere we just haven't met. Where's that woman for me? Something tells me that she's lonely too. Getting time run through. She wants someone. That woman for me I know she's out there I can hear her call By the voice So soft and so low If you see her Tell her That I need her Someone, that's the way it seems. Where's that woman for me? No one she sees me, she'll hear my call. Son of a Gun, which uh, leads me into this next song, a song that I wrote for a good friend of mine who was there one minute and then all of a sudden, boom, just gone, just boom. And it comes, I guess, at this time of year where you start adding up and uh, adding and subtracting and, and seeing where we've come and, you know, and uh, yeah, 23 was, uh, was a tough old year. And it's not looking any brighter at the very particular moment, but um, we sort of have to forge on and keep going, pointed in the right direction, we hope. And uh, so this is a song that I wrote for a buddy named Jan Shute. And uh, wherever he is, man, I hope he's having uh, some good time. Had a wisdom 
uncommon and true That laugh was contagious It could fold me in two As you're about to leave Take a message from me Be free, be free, go touch the sky, don't wave goodbye, be free, be free, I won't ask why, I'll just say There will be times from day to day when I will turn to you and start to say, and you gotta hear this, you're gonna laugh. Saying it now, be free, be free. Go touch the sky, don't wave goodbye. Be free, be free. I won't. have an ending for it <laughs> ah, okay that is for absent friends uh, there's more absent friends every day and it's, it's got to stop um well, okay did that one answer oh now a couple of little sort of bonus uh, demos that i did back in the 80s i used to pride myself with having sort of a goofy little answering machine a message and I used to do a little four track thing as that's all I had and so I try to make a little bit of a production of it and here's one example of my 30 second phone message from 1985 six hi friends this is your old buddy Ray I'd dearly love to talk to you but I'm afraid I can't. I know you're busy, but if you could spare the time and leave your name and number in three seconds time, 
Come on back and talk to my machine. Beep. <laughs> and I used to change them all the time. I used to just be different one all the time. It's just the one that I found. But by far the most talked about answering machine that I ever did is this one. And it ran for years. I had it for years. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Leave your name and I'll telephone you. No, I'm not home. No, I'm not home. Leave your name and number. When I come home, you're the one. So that was, I did that when I was house sitting at Ron Dan's house. He had a nice little Akai 1212 or something, I think it was. And um, he said, hey, have fun. And a lot of the piano demos that I have were recorded then too. Okay, well, I think we're getting close to it. I think. Um, we got two more songs, I think, here. This one I sent to Chet Atkins, and he was kind enough to send me a letter back. It hangs there proudly, saying that he's going to hang on to this one. Never did get recorded, as far as I know. I sure hope you're not hearing what I'm hearing. I do. Okay, well, you know what? It's time to um, 
Well, yeah. Um, well, let's see, I guess. Um, we're thinking about some uh, very close friends tonight, uh, hoping that they're going to get better real soon. And um, especially people, too, I want to say thank you to in uniform. And they're all out there every day, and they don't call in. Hey, a little bit of snow out there, can't make it. They don't do that. Uh, oh, and by the way, if you feel that, uh, hey, this has been fun, uh, please subscribe. Come on back. Uh, okay, so I'm going to send this one out to people in uniform now, today, yesterday, tomorrow. This is a song for you. Bye. Hope to see you again real soon. Hey, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, hit the uh, swinging door. I don't know. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again real soon. Bye for now. <laughs>